Hey there, thanks for joining me today. Do you ever have those moments where you decide you're going to make your dad a shirt? So you take him to the fabric store and pick out the fabric. He gets something that he likes and then you decide this is going to be the perfect project to make for his birthday. However, his birthday is very close to Father's Day, like usually one day apart, if not the exact same day. So you're also working on a quilt that you are making him for his birthday slash Father's Day. And you decide that the quilt is going to be the best thing to work on because it's something that we've been talking about making for a long time, as well as you've already started filming a video for it. So. You do that in uh, June, and then time goes by, and you realize it's November, and you still haven't made that shirt for your dad. Is that just me? Today we are making a shirt for my dad. We're going to be using this pattern, the Simplicity S157. I'm scared. I'm always scared. I haven't done menswear since college, and the thing that I made was a pirate shirt. It's going to be a fun experiment. I'm really excited. Let's go. First things first, we're gonna cut everything out. And if you look close, you can see that I cut things out wrong. We had three shirt fronts, which is gonna be hard for him to wear because he only has one dad front. After that, I stay stitched the collar and started making the pocket for the shirt. Shoop, pocket. When the pocket was stitched in place, I started pinning the shoulders together. I had a great day today. Kate and I just got back from a hunt for a pink Christmas tree. I knew this was going to be a niche item, but I did not realize how niche it was going to be. This is a very essential item, and I, I cannot uh, guarantee that my Christmas will flourish without it. Oh, shirt. So um, last night we did pocket, facings, sewed the shoulders closed. Today we're going to start doing the collar. That's it! All of that was a blatant lie except for the bit about the Christmas tree. The only thing I did with the collar was apply interfacing to it that I'm showing you here. Then I went on to pin the sleeves in place. The sleeves have been giving me quite a time and I eventually just had to pin them on and fit them on my dad. Usually I have no problem with sleeves. So I was really surprised that this was so difficult. Here is the shirt all laid out. There's a sleeve. And you can also just barely see the difference in the back fabric when I had to order more of it. Once the sleeves were firmly attached, I took the fabric, folded it in half, and started sewing from the armhole all the way down the side seam of the shirt. Then you must do a little bit of a dance with hairography included uh, while fitting it on yourself. I eventually decided it was probably a better idea to fit the shirt on the person who was going to wear the shirt, so Dad came down and helped me out with that. This was really nice because I don't do a lot of menswear or any menswear, so he was able to sort of help me figure out where things were supposed to go. Hey guys, I just got home from a dog walk and I realized something that I'm a little bit worried about. I don't really know what to do. Look, my refrigerator has a leak in it. Luckily the leak didn't spread because Kate made it into soup. Now it was actually time to move on to the hardest part of this project, which was figuring out the collar, the thing I had procrastinated earlier. The issue with this collar was that I just didn't understand the instructions. They were put together in a simple way, but still it was far too complicated for me to get my head around, so I ended up calling my friend Kai and asking her for help basically she sews a lot too it took us ages to figure out what this actually meant but with our powers combined we did it you sew the collar all the way around except for this part that's longer and then you turn it inside out and sew it to your shirt it's not that hard here's Kai here's the first sock she's ever darned she's wonderful and I moved on to the what are these the facings the facings for the collar and sewed the interior edges down so they'd have a nice finished look. Once those were sewn, I was able to pin them in place. That edge, that pointed edge, is going to be the bottom point of the collar. I had to sew these by hand in the corners just to make sure the flaps didn't come up and get folded outward. 
Hello! So, we are doing quite well with everything. Yesterday I put the collar together and I think it turned out quite nicely. I've noticed it's a little hard to see things with this fabric uh, because of the print. Oh, I guess I could hold it correctly. Can you see that? I'm going to do some finishing and hemming and put the button placket on hopefully tonight. <laughs> My dad really liked the point that the sleeves were sitting before they were hemmed, so I tried to roll up the hem as little as possible. I think in total it turned out to be maybe like a half inch of length was taken off. And I also pinned that facing over the edge of the bottom of the shirt so that I could turn it all inside and have a nice crisp finish. Here I am using the button guide to figure out where these buttons are going to go. And then these are the coconut buttons that my dad picked out himself, along with this cute Huskies fabric, his favorite college football team. I used pins and my seam ripper to gently open up those buttons, but didn't film it, so I'll have to show you that next time. And these are the coconut buttons all put on the shirt. I'm going to just close up. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. I like it a lot. I like it with the buttons. Yeah, me too. I think the buttons are a good look. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And thank you all so much for watching as well. My dad was really happy with this and he wore it to the Rose Bowl the next day. So I'm really happy that we got to work on a project together and make him something that he really uh, enjoyed wearing. Thank you so much again for watching today. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. We have some holiday-themed projects coming up in the near future. Uh, be brave and do your best. Thanks, bye.